Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Law 26 of the year 2020, amending Article 173 of Decree Law 54 of the year 2002 regarding the status of the Council of Representatives. The Decree Law stipulates that the text of Article 173 of Decree Law 54 of the year 2002 shall be amended as follows. It is not permissible for more than 10 members to participate in the general discussion. The priority of participation in the discussion shall be given to those who wish to do so from the applicants according to the order of registering their names in the Secretariat General of the Council of Representatives ahead of the session, taking into account those who have priority to speak on the subject of the discussion in accordance with the provisions of the first paragraph of Article 171 of the status. In the end of this statute, in case the number of applicants wishing to take part in the discussion is less than 10, priority should be given to those whose names have been registered in the Secretariat General of the Council prior to the session, and then for the members who request to speak during the session. In all cases, the discussion period of any member shall not exceed five minutes. It is also not permissible for the discussion to include a criticism, blame, or accusation, or include statements that that uh, contravene the Constitution or the law, constitute a breach of the dignity of persons or entities, or harm the high interests of the country. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 27 of the year 2020, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of the year 1977 on the issuance of development bonds. The Decree Law stipulates that amendments of Article 1 and 2 of Decree Law 15 of the year 1977 as follows. Article 1. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, in agreement with the Central Bank of Bahrain, is authorized to issue in the Kingdom of or abroad treasury bills and bonds called development bonds and financing instruments compatible with the Islamic Sharia within the limits of 15,000 million Bahraini dinars, according to the provisions of Article 2 of this law. Article 2, Treasury Bills, Development Bonds and Financing Instruments referred to in the previous article shall carry the name of the bearer or be registered and negotiable. They shall be amorti amortized within the period specified in the issuance statement. The Minister of Finance and National Economy in agreement with the Central Bank of Bahrain may issue these Treasury Bills, Bonds and Financing Instruments, whether in Bahraini dinar or in convertible currencies. The minister may also reissue the amortized ones provided that their trade value does not at any time exceed 15,000 million Bahraini dinars. Ismashi also issued Decree 57 of year 2020, amending some provisions of Decree 84 of the year 2016 regarding setting up and organizing the National Communications Center. A center called the National Communications Center shall be established under the General Director of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister and is to be referred to in this decree by the word center. The center may have a board of directors whose formation, duration and specification of its uh, functions and system of work is to be stipulated by a decree. The prime minister and the ministers each within his jurisdiction shall enforce uh, the decree with, which shall become effective from the date of its issuance and shall be promulgated in the official gazette. The chief executive officer shall be responsible before the director general of the office of the first deputy prime minister for the conduct of the center's work, particularly the selection of the center's staff, sending representatives of the center to attend international and regional conferences and meetings and undertaking practical and scientific visits at home and abroad in the field of government media work. The center shall have a financial appropriation that is included in the budget of the office of the first deputy prime minister. The representative of his match to the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the victory of KHK Racing Team Soldier Lions in the 1,100 meter race held on a Bath race course. His Highness stated that this victory reflects the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to equestrian sports. He added that this achievement further reflects the continuous development of 
Bahrain Equestrian Sports. As Aina Sheikh Nasser expressed optimism that uh, Team KHK Racing will continue to make further achievements in upcoming races. The Minister of Education, Majid Naimi, attended the last exhibition of the ministry's summer program. The minister was briefed about the projects and productions and the participating students from private and public schools. He praised the students' active participation in various activities and workshops of the program, which carried the slogan Summer of Creativity and Innovation and included the scientific, artistic, cultural, sports, scouting and other fields. He praised the efforts of those who worked on the project. The minister emphasized the ministry's keenness to continue this annual summer program despite the current conditions by making use of the virtual system in order to help students invest the summer vacation in a positive manner. Under the patronage of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdul Latif Zayani, and the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Ramehi, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a virtual workshop entitled The Role of the Media, the Press, and National Action Plan for Human Rights. Among the distinguished attendees of the workshop were the Regional Representative of the High Commission on Human Rights in the Middle East and North Africa, Ruwait Al Hajj, the Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdullah Dosri, Acting Ambassador of the United States in Bahrain, Margaret Nardi, the Head of of the Bahrain Journalist Association, various members of press and media. The Minister of Foreign Affairs opened with a statement in which he said that Bahrain has made important achievements in the field of human rights and freedom of speech thanks to the keen support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in this regard, all of whom hold a firm belief in the principle of free speech as basic rights for all citizens and that it represents a cornerstone of modern and prosperous societies. The minister added that Bahrain earned the recognition and appreciation of the international community in this field, as can be noted in its membership in the United Nations Human Rights Council, through which Bahrain endeavors to build a multilateral relations based on the principle of mutual respect and human rights. For his part, the Minister of Information Affairs said that media plays a key role in the field of human rights in light of the fact that the work of human rights organizations lie in its use of the media to monitor and discuss various issues of interest. The minister said that a free press requires a healthy environment that nurtures their pluralism and said that this principle, along with that of free speech, is constitutional and legally protected. He added that Bahrain also maintains its commitment to these principles through various Arab and international treaties to which the kingdom is a signatory. Restaurants and coffee shops have begun to resume their commercial activities in open-air spaces while observing health precautions as per the instructions of the Ministry of Health to contain the outbreak of the pandemic. The Inspection Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is now preparing to resume its monitoring operations to ensure the implementation of the health precautions. The Directorate is also working in coordination with various parties given that implementing them is a national duty to which all must abide in the hope that normal life will return as soon as possible. The Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, TRA, has been recognized as a four-star organization by the European Organization for Quality, marking the first achievement of its kind in the kingdom. The TRA's Director General, Sheikh Nasser bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said that earning an achievement at this level reflects the wisdom of the leadership's vision and its ongoing support for all institutions to excel in all fields. It should be noted that the TRA has been working in accordance to a comprehensive strategy to improve its operations on all levels that have enabled it to earn this achievement. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,972, with 250 recoveries and 367 registered new cases. Among the new cases, 87 cases were detected among expatriate workers, 277 cases are contracts of active cases, and three are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.